so we've already established that uh, nuclear fiction fission reaction where you have um, a neutron inducing other uranium nuclide to break down um, this is the formation of a huge amount of energy so now the question is where from this huge energy and that is where the difference in mass between the products and the reactant is coming from so we have in a nuclear fission reaction it's been found that the mass of the product is always less than the mass of the reactant and let's use an example to explain it better so we know that the mass numbers that are written is just an approximation of the actual mass numbers so for the uranium 235 in this example what we are not seeing is the actual number so for this for the uranium you have about is 235.054 and for the neutron is yes, 1.00866 and all these makes a difference when we add them at the end of the reaction so this fissions to give um barium which the approximation will be 140 and then the atomic number is actually 56 and cranium and just so as an approximation of 93 and then 36 yeah if you use the actual numbers so in a nuclear fission, what happens is this neutral neutron here is going to induce another uranium, and then the reaction continues with the formation of an uh, um, another neutron, and then like that. So what happens? These are all approximations. What happens is if you use the actual numbers, you realize that the total number here, the total mass of the reactant, will actually be actually be around this number and that of the product will be around this number so the mass difference sorry so the this is actually five not six so the mass difference here is what is converted uh, to energy that is accompanied by this reaction so you know there's a difference there's about uh almost less than one difference between the reactants and the uh, product so the missing um mass is actually what is used to form the energy what is converted to form the energy since we know uh, 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 matter can be converted to energy so using this famous einstein equation where e which is energy is equal to m which is mass and then c squared and the c is the speed of light if you find the difference between the mass, which is the mass loss, you can calculate how much energy is being produced by that difference. So the mass loss is actually uh, is what is converted to energy.